I read a quote recently from the French Catholic poet Léon Bloy where he said, There are places in our poor hearts that do not yet exist, where suffering must enter so that they may. And I was reading for the Gospel today the story of the raising of Lazarus. This quote came into my mind. And I was thinking about how suffering is not something that God desires nor that He positively willed. Um, in fact, He suffers more in our suffering than we even do. It says in the Gospel that Jesus wept, that He identified and, and He was compassionate towards their sufferings. However, we know that sufferings are a part of our lives, that they do exist, and so the Lord must have a reason for allowing them. And you can see the intentionality even in the Gospel where it says that Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. And so, he, when he found out that Lazarus was sick, he waited two days to go to them. At first you're kind of like, that doesn't make any sense. But then later Jesus, when he finds out that Lazarus has died, he says, I am glad for you that this happened, that you may come to believe. And so Jesus wants to take Martha into that place in her poor heart and expand it. She already has said that she believes she believes that he's the Christ. She believes in the resurrection of the dead. But what he wants to show her is that he is the resurrection and the life. And that life can only be found in the person of Jesus Christ. And so through that suffering, through that expanding, and through seeing Jesus' fidelity, his power, his compassion, her heart is expanded. And so as we approach Holy Week, let us draw close to him. Let us enter more deeply into the silence and allow him to raise us up to new life.